Congratulations to both of you. You've done an extraordinary job. And uh, how much did you know about this time in history before you even took on the roles? You know, I knew as much as I learned in school, which was, uh, you know, we gloss over a lot of things in American history because they're too painful to deal with. And so I had to interrogate more by, probably by the time I got to college and, and uh, or my mother just saying, hey, tell me a story about Nat Turner. And so then, you know, we have to educate ourselves and educate one another. And so uh, I went into it even knowing, you know, I knew a little bit, but then I, I researched even more so when I, I knew, and looked at slave narratives and other stories and, of this time, but uh, you do that work. Yeah. Yeah, no, my mom noticed uh, at a young age that I was, uh, the assimilation was complete. Um, and that I, I did not put up enough of a resistance because I wasn't learning about resisting oppression or inequality or poor behavior. Um, and so in high school, she, she supplemented my, my education and taught me about Nat Turner. Um, I, I, I took that and ran with it. And it's been the inspiration for me speaking out since I, you know, was was a teenager, um, it's it's been a huge story uh, uh, in my life. That's amazing. Um, you know, working with someone like Nate, who is you know writer, director, producer, star, etc. I don't know what there this man cannot do. Uh, what was it like to to work with him and and just watch him in motion? You know, you're you're watching someone on the journey as a, a, a creative, a, a visionary in many ways. You know, take on many um, many roles, um, but you wanted to be a part of his vision. You know, he laid it out so clearly and invited you into it as well. So it wasn't someone who just like said, this is what it is. But he says, this is what it is, and I invite you to interrogate even more so and create this thing with me while I am flexing my muscles as an actor, director, writer, producer. And so it was exciting. You know, you're watching someone do things for the first time and figure out how does he do it, not based on anyone else, not based on, you know, Kubrick or anything. You know, it's just like, no, this is my style. This is the way I inspire my actors. And this is what he would even, you know, do things that I'd never seen a director do, which is he wouldn't even call action. He would let the two actors, he, he knew we were in the moment, and he would just let it happen. Wow. And, let them, and not, he didn't want to interrupt the moment because he's very respectful. Uh, Gabrielle, you know, this movie, watching you in this film was extraordinary, I have to tell you, and, and uh, honestly didn't even know it was you until after. Good. And, yeah, honestly. Good. How, I mean, listen, you just came out with that essay in the LA, LA Times. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's important, something very, very important for you to talk about. What was it like to have this experience and now talk about it and, and just, what do you want to get out there? What is important to you? I want to get out there the importance of keeping sexual violence, uh, misogyny, rape culture, toxic masculinity in, in our conversation, in our collective conversation. I want to educate how we raise our children. Um, the conversations about consent evolved from the time we were growing up to how I'm teaching our, our boys now, very different. Um, I want to change minds. I, I want to change behavior. I want people to evolve. You know, I, I look at uh, Nat Turner, was a man of faith, he was a preacher, and he, he was so rooted in his faith, but it was a faith that, that was used to subjugate and, and, uh, and keep his own people in subservience and in bondage. And once he knew better, he did better. We never questioned, well, why didn't you do it before? It was, okay. when, you, when you knew better, you did better, and boy, did he leave, lead the revolution and the resistance. And that's what we're trying to accomplish, um, a revolution against oppression of all forms, against inequality in all forms. And this movement that the film has spawned is inclusive. We are talking about sexual violence. We are doing something about sexual violence um, and rape culture. I will never be quiet about it. I've been talking about it since I was 19 and I survived a sexual assault. Um, and, and when people thought my brand might be impacted if I, if I stand with the film, not with Nate Park, with the film, the mo the movement. If I stand with the movement, then I somehow will will be viewed negatively. I said my reputation and my brand is built on being a person who stands up for what's right and who fights, you know, against oppression and inequality. I do myself and my brand a disservice by staying silent, and I'm not going to do it. And as you should, good. God bless both of you. You really did outstanding jobs, and Thank you. kudos to you. Honest to God, I just I hope. I hope people listen to you. Anyway, fantastic you. job. Thank, Thank you. you.